Hi everybody, I'm going to do a little what's in my travel carry-on makeup bag tutorial uh, specifically for my friend Becca who is flying on her first airplane ride this upcoming week. Hi Becca! Um, I'm gonna put together a little how to pack your toiletry bag to get through TSA security uh, make sure you don't get in trouble, make sure none of your items are confiscated. Also I've picked up a couple tips and tricks over the last few years and specifically recently because I actually work for an airline. I'm pretty much never allowed to check my bag. My boss would make fun of me and so I've had to figure out how to pack everything I need for a few days worth of business trips all in a little carry-on so that I can take my bag straight through onto the plane and then straight off the plane onto business meetings. Uh, so let's get started. The first thing that I always have on hand is this bad boy. It's basically a thick plastic kind of PVC bag with a zipper. I think I actually got this at Target or um, like a CVS or Walgreens, one of those two. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty much the same size as a Ziploc sandwich bag. This is a sandwich bag, uh, but you can tell it's a lot thicker <laughs> than a sandwich bag and obviously a lot more sturdy. I've probably traveled with this for the last two years or so and it still holds up really well for me. I can still fit all my goods in here. Um, so having a good container that's not one of your flimsy plastic bags, it's probably going to break anyway. That's my number one tip. Um, first thing that I always pack is my deodorant. It's pretty much the biggest item that I have of everything. I just haven't honestly looked around to get a travel one of these. So it's the first thing that always goes in for me because it's the largest. Second thing that I always do is pack my smaller shower liquids. Um, I'm a Neutrogena clean and clear, or sorry, yeah, clean and clear morning burst face wash kind of gal. Um, this stuff's kind of like liquid gold to me, so I always want to make sure I have this. What I do is I just actually pump it into a little teeny hotel shampoo container that I have. Um, I find these a lot easier. This is a Listerine bat bottle, but this is about the size of the, the squeezy, like, you know, orange or pink or turquoise fancy looking containers that you can get at grocery stores or drug stores for your shower goods, the ones with the screw on tops. I think it just takes up a lot of space and you really never need that much product. I mean you could probably fit two months worth of product in that thing. Um, so you can see that hotel travel bottles are even smaller. You're not going to use very much of this stuff anyway so there's no point in having a lot of empty space bouncing around in your container. So I fill one of these up with my face wash. I always double bag it in a sandwich bag just to make sure it doesn't leak over all of my other things. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not really big on fancy hair care. I use this fancy Tresemme 2-in-1 shampoo. It's the same thing, I share this with my husband. Uh, I've used this for probably three or four years. I started using this when I moved to New York City and couldn't afford a nice shampoo. Uh, my hair is just fine with it. So to be honest with you, I don't actually ever travel pack shampoo. I always just use whatever shampoo is in the hotel or at my friend's house, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this little shampoo travel container in here just to kind of show that it takes up as much space. So get these bagged up and throw these in my container. Uh, the next thing for me that's really big is skincare. I am an Estee Lauder skincare kind of gal. So I use this moisturizer and then we have this kind of day serum, this advanced night repair night serum, and then on top of all of that an eye cream. Now this is a lot of junk to pack and to carry on and frankly these are all pretty much over three ounces so you can't take anything with you anyway. What I learned uh, probably right around our wedding from my dear friend Lynn is to get these little travel sample containers. Um, you can get them at Sephora, I know you can get them at Nordstrom's. I actually stockpile them now. These little black ones are from Nordstrom's and these are from I think a drugstore or a makeup store in New York City. Um, you can just pump all of your goodies into here, all of your face creams or swipe out some of your face cream and throw them in here. So now all of those cases I've got right here, it's you know the same size as the deodorant that I'm packing. I just label them on the bottom with the Sharpie, D for day serum, and for night serum, and for moisturizer. Um, the eye cream's small enough that I throw it in there anyway, it's fine. It saves a lot of space to do that and I mean, to be honest with you, I've never run out of product and I actually dip into these after I get home and can still use them for about three weeks before they're empty. Uh, so go ahead and put all of those in there. I'm also big on SPF, Bobbi Brown SPF 50. 
this is getting close to empty anyway so I always just make sure and squeeze out all of the air so I'm not packing dead air and then I kind of stagger things we'll slide this in upside down to take a little extra um, keep a little extra space uh, travel toothpaste always a necessity I sometimes travel this is a dry shampoo to be honest I wasn't crazy with this Oscar Blondie but I always like to try and have dry shampoo or um, aerosol hairspray so I'll just slide this into there as well um, a little bit of hand lotion you might need this you might be able to just get this at the hotel so sometimes I keep the hand lotion in there just to keep my hands moisturized when I'm actually on the airplane um, another big thing that has always been an issue for me especially when I'm traveling for business is perfume a lot of the perfumes that I like this is um, Chanel Allure is my favorite. I haven't found like a good travel sample size like that and I'm not really big on those atomizers where you fill it up because I just don't want to you know potentially waste any uh, perfume by losing it, spilling it. Uh, my husband actually gave me this little box of twirl perfume from Kate Spade for Christmas. It was a nice little Christmas surprise. And as you see it's just like this little teeny tiny vial. I'm going to compare it. This is a blackberry so it's a teeny tiny little vial of perfume and it's got a little roll on this stuff is brilliant I've been loving to travel with this and so you know just roll it under pulse points roll it wherever you need to teeny tiny now you can fit this in your travel makeup bag slides right in there no big deal um, last couple of things that I like to have chapstick and lip gloss actually this is my chapstick Sometimes, to be honest with you, I don't sneak this lip gloss, this chapstick, into the bag. Um, it doesn't really look like a liquid, so sometimes I just kind of keep it out of there. Um, another big thing to travel with, I've got my little Tide stick, teeny tiny Tide pen. I'm always spilling coffee on myself, and I'm always traveling my work clothes, so that's really important to have on hand. Uh, the next thing that I always make sure to put in there is my mascara. Technically speaking, you're supposed to put all your liquids in here. Um, if you accidentally leave this with your other makeup, your dry stuff like your blush powders, I'm sure you'll be fine. Um, but just to be on the safe side, I always have that in there. And the other big thing that I discovered that I'm in love with is this little tube. I'm actually a uh, liquid foundation kind of gal. I use this Trish McAvoy treatment foundation. Uh, I love having this stuff. I really love the coverage, but it's a pain because you know trying to fit this into this jammed up bad boy is you know it's never going to work out well found this pen and it's also a Trish McAvoy beauty pen basically it's a refillable to go pen so it's got a little brush here and the great thing about it is you twist off the bottom and you can fill all your concealer up into this pop it back in and then all you basically need to do when you apply is take off the lid and pump it and it actually comes through the brush pen so you you can put about three months worth of concealer in this this is a whole lot easier to travel with than this um, I actually just use a regular makeup brush to apply it once I've pumped it out of here. But this say it saved me so much space in my travel bag, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, last couple of things, I always make sure and have maybe one lipstick. I've got a lipstick, a concealer, and then like an extra chapstick that I have in here, an SPF chapstick. Um, pretty much. Gonna maybe wiggle it around a little bit, but I know from multiple times traveling that everything fits in here so that is basically how I travel and how I pack my carry-on travel bag if you have any questions about the products um, feel free to leave a comment otherwise happy traveling